Taylor Kitsch is the hottest man on Mars in John Carter. And Kitsch was joined by co-stars Willem Dafoe, Brian Cranston, and Lynn Collins on the red carpet for the downtown LA premiere Wednesday night. Captain John Carter. As the title character, Kitsch portrays an oft-shirtless version of the Edgar Rice Burroughs literary Civil War veteran who's transported to Mars. Only the supposed dead planet isn't as dead as one would think. Lush landscapes and a technologically advanced civilization are threatened by a menacing overlord played by Mark Strong. Pursue them to the Aeolian plane. Basing a modern 3D movie off a 100-year-old novel had its challenges, not the least of which was making sure the original story did not fall into the proverbial Hollywood blender. Obviously it's an honor to play him, an honor to breathe life into, you know, Anderson's kind of boyhood idol, more or less. And no one's going to put more pressure on it than myself to kind of breathe life into him. And uh, there is the action, there is the stunts, but at the end of the day it really is a character-driven story. And. Um, that was kind of first and foremost. I believed it's something new. It's not like stuff is just animated in a room somewhere. We're playing the scenes as best as we can. It's not like you keep on saying, oh, we'll do that later. We tried to tell the story and make the movie as best as we could before Post even happened. I'm from Virginia. Virginia. John Carter takes place part of the time in Civil War America and part of the time on Mars. So you have to be ready to have your mind expanded when you see John Carter because it's such uh, a fantastical, you know, special effects film and yet at the core of it, you really care about these people. John Carter has long been director Andrew Stanton's dream project and after years of working strictly in the animation end of filmmaking, he was over the moon at having his chance to helm what seems to be the inspiration for much of this past century's great cultural icons. Well, it's literally 100 years old, this book, as of this month. And it's inspired Superman, Flash Gordon, Star Wars, Avatar, and so many other things. Nobody's ever stolen from it. Nobody's ever actually done the story. But you can just feel its influence. It's like everybody listened to the Beatles and got influenced, but nobody's heard the source music. And so I think that's the thing as a fan. I've spent my whole life going, it still needs to be done. It still needs to be put on the screen. While motion capture technology played a big part in the making of John Carter, Kitsch and on-screen love interest Lynn Collins definitely enjoyed the physical aspect of shooting. Man, it was it was just such a ride from the great white ape to the learning to jump sequence to being hooked up to 250 foot cranes. It's all. Of it. Having been trained in karate and had lots of movement at my school at Juilliard, I was like, let's just do this. Let's see how ripped I can get. Go on, shock me. I just think first is just this journey, and you just gotta go with that. You just gotta. You, let your mind be plucked, let your heart be plucked, let your soul be plucked, and just go for two hours, hard and fast. After being teased for months with ominous billboards and a Spartacus meets Star Wars Super Bowl commercial, moviegoers will finally get to see John Carter in action when the film hits 3D theaters March 9th. In Los Angeles, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.